Bayo, what is up everybody? This is Bayo Adido, your favorite Nigerian American vlogger. Welcome to the Nigerian Nomad. On this series of going to find different fully detached duplex for my client that I've been taking you guys along. You guys have seen duplex number one, duplex number two, duplex number three. This is duplex number four that I want to give you guys a tour on. And after this whole series, we'll get to vote on which one you like. So this one is a four bedroom duplex um, and it has a BQ at the bottom as well. So it's perfect, but let's go check it out. But before I go in, let me give you guys a tour of the streets. You guys see how quiet this is? Ah, it's calm, there's sidewalks, there's space. There's just, a, there's a lot, the drainage is good. There's not a lot of water damage here. You can kind of see the sign sometimes if you look. So I love it. And I love that it's very, very residential, unlike the other one that's very accessible, but it's on a busy road. But this one is very residential. So again, I'm giving my client a lot of diversity and then he kind of picks what he wants. But this is the duplex here. Yeah. Remove this. Ta-da! Welcome in. Look at this space. So the one thing that I love about this in comparison to the other one is that you can breathe. You can even put turf, um, like grass here if you want. You have space to put plants. You can put a child swing set or you can park like four or five cars. So space wise, I love this. I love the quietness and it feels more private than the others. So I'm just gonna take you guys on the outside and then we'll go on the inside. Look at this. The other places, it's like this, <laughs> but this one is wider. This is great. So this is the outdoor. We already have a borehole here and there's a tank already on the top of the building. So this is the BQ. Good space. We'll have to renovate that bathroom if it goes for this one, but this is good. So this is nice. This could be repurposed like a nice studio. <sighs> breathe and I like the spacing between other houses you know like we have this space they also have space so it lets you feel like you're not so like choked up so that's good all right this is the space they have some light in here so at night this would be good it'll power all the lights very very nice now that you guys have seen the outside let's go check out the inside of the house guys so as soon as you walk in there is a guest room and a small waiting area here so yeah not bad cool and then this is the living room so the living room is a good size it has two big windows decent windows they already have some wiring for TVs here and then the kitchen is behind this living room so this semi-detached duplex actually has three bedroom upstairs and a guest room downstairs and a BQ. So while we're at the kitchen, let me just kind of show you guys the guest room and then we'll check out the kitchen. So this is underneath the stairs. This is the first guest room. Oh, decent. I like the carpentry work. So it looks like they have his and hers here. So that's pretty good. Two big windows, decent size. And then they have a nice small bathroom. Each room comes with its own shower and toilet. It's decently finished, but we'll definitely have to do a lot more finishing if the owner goes with this apartment. Um, so yeah, so this is the living room. Now let's go check out the kitchen. So yeah, the kitchen is not bad. So the good thing is this comes equipped. It has an oven, microwave, heat extractor, cabinets. Um, but they haven't peeled out these cabinets things. Two base sink and a window, which is fantastic. A fridge that's been enclosed. One can even get a bigger fridge and expand this or even get a wider fridge and expand that way. So that's not bad. Um, this leads to the outside and there's a little bit of a pantry here. So one can potentially have like a little French door here, create shelves for storage different things one can do there not bad all right 
So since this is more of a fixer upper house, the idea, if we go with this house, the idea that I'm presenting to this client is to bring this wall down and make it an open floor kitchen style. Or we can have like half glass or full glass or open floor style, which is what I'm advising the clients to do. Maybe changing this house, but I think the place has, the place has good bones to work with. Let's go check out the upstairs. I love 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 about this place is that there's not a lot of stairs <laughs> so one of this is very very easy to maneuver and get around for people that just don't like a lot of stairs so that's one thing I like about this so there's a living room downstairs and there's also another living room up here so one can have a TV some nice couch a nice little lounge area so yeah I like this light I like the whole ambience so that's good so there's three bedrooms. There's bedroom one, two, and three. Let's go check out this one. All right. Ta-da! Nice size room. Uh, it's not bad. AC, furniture is good. They already have a closet in there. We just need curtains, mosquito nets, two big windows, not bad. And then they also have a bathroom here. Actually very spacious. Ah, yeah, very spacious good i don't know why they have tiles halfway <laughs> but we'll probably tile it all the way all the way up so yeah all right so that's that let's go check out bedroom number two Ta -da! so yeah this is also good same kind of shape same design for um the closet is already there not bad i like it i like it i like it um, also, a place for a TV is already wired and a shower. Good, I like it. Separate showers and basin. You can come in, let me show you guys around. So yeah, so there's enough spacing. I like the spacing. The finishing is just not great, but I like the spacing. All right, cool. Now let's go check out the master bedroom. So this one is a lot bigger. Wow. <laughs> so yeah, so this is the master bedroom, obviously. And look at this view. Very peaceful view. You have kind of like a, a window, which you can expand. You can see the parking lot. You can see the palm trees in the neighborhood. Hopefully we're gonna put more greenery outside. So I think that's good. And they have a walk-in closet of some sort. They can kind of be redesigned. So yeah, this is a full walk-in closet, which is very nice. Not bad at all, okay? And then we have a surprise, balcony. So this can be a nice sitting area. Woo! Wow, this is great. So yeah, so this is the balcony. You guys see there's no house immediately next, which makes it good. The house is a bit further apart and you can kind of see how peaceful the neighborhood is. It's not bad, I like it. All right, so yeah, so now we also now have the master bathroom. Let's check it out. This one is actually also quite spacious. They have in his and her sink. You don't see this too much in Nigeria. That's cool. You also have a shower. Not bad, not bad, not bad. That would definitely have to be changed. That doesn't make sense. We'll put a nice, <laughs> and then look guys there's a tub so one can actually potentially get a nice tub but this is a more modern tub but this is not bad so that's the master bedroom spacious not bad all right guys so that's the tour of the apartments let me go downstairs and then we'll catch up all right i hope that you guys enjoyed the tour of this apartment i like it a lot it's not as modern and fancy as the other other kind of apartments that we check out but i love this for a lot of different things it has a good documentation it's in a residential estate that's very safe uh, it has some good outdoor space and it doesn't have a lot of stairs and it also is priced low enough to give us a little bit of extra funds to like build it to taste which i'm very very excited about so i'm hoping that the client chooses this one but other one, other ones are good so we'll be excited on which ones he picks but i want to take you guys along this journey i'm going to add all 
the links of all the other places we checked out for the clients, including this one. And I want to know which one would you guys pick. <laughs> so we have different ones. We have the one that's a bit further out that's beautiful, but it's like an Ajay area a bit further out. We have another one that's great, but it's so close to the main road, um, a little bit higher priced. And then we have another one that's not as accessible, but in a good location. Another one I think was kind of in an area that is prone to flooding, but though it's nice, it's big. But this one just kind of checked all the boxes. The only thing is that it doesn't feel like a brand new house that's modern. But I would rather go for that with a little bit of budget to fix it up. But I want to get you guys' opinion. Um, yeah, lots of fix. We can change the floors, put stamp concrete. We can add some greenery. We can we can just create the space but anyways guys comment underneath this video what do you think about the house let me know and uh yeah if you guys are looking for a house apartments duplexes places to rent hit me up i'd love to help you find yours and also don't forget we are building our community that's called the green paradise um in a place that is just outside of lagos beautiful beautiful environment nature inspired living if that's your jam we would love to have you join our community a plot of land is still selling for six thousand dollars for now i would say like next month the price is going to jump up so if you're interested hit us up or visit the greenparadise.com or call the number underneath the screen and lastly guys remember it's your time to rise and let your light shine peace